I want to be absolutely clear at the start. I've said this over and over again. Uh, this also becomes routine. There's a ritual about this whole thing that I have to do. I believe in the Second Amendment. It's there written on the paper. But I also believe that we can find ways to reduce gun violence consistent with the Second Amendment. Barack Obama's line has face off about that. You, you can't believe in the Second Amendment and simultaneously believe in gun control. Dana Lash is a syndicated radio and television host. She is the author of the 2014 book, Hands Off My Gun, Defeating the Plot to Disarm America. If you believe in abridging the Second Amendment at all, then you are not for the Second Amendment as it was written and defined by the Founding Fathers. The same with the First Amendment, the same with any of our natural rights. Cheer him. Lash and other gun rights advocates told for the record, to understand the president's true disdain for guns, you have to research his early days as a candidate and community organizer. Well, we both taught at the University of Chicago Law School. I overlapped with him for about four years. John Lott is an economist and author. He has written multiple books on the use of statistical analysis in defense of gun rights. The first time I met him, I went up, I introduced myself. Uh, he said, oh, you're the gun guy. And I said, I, I guess so. And uh, he turned to me and he said, I don't believe people should be able to own guns. So I said, well, you know, maybe we can get together for lunch sometime and talk about it. And he just kind of wrinkled his face, turned his back on me and walked away. And that was the end of our first conversation. You know, it's like, if he disagreed with you, it wasn't that he just disagreed with you, it seemed like he believed you were evil, and he just didn't want to have anything to do with you. In 1996, when he first ran for state senate in Illinois, a campaign questionnaire revealed that Obama supported a total ban on nearly all firearms, including handguns, a restriction the Supreme Court has argued would render the Second Amendment extinct. People have been beaten down so long, and they feel so betrayed by government. That's not surprising them that they get better and they cling to guns or religion or uh, antipathy towards people who aren't like them. That mentality isn't just particularly with this president, it's with the progressive left, it's with people who think that the Second Amendment is somehow anachronistic, but yet the First Amendment is not. 